in this video. I want to prove to you that a particle ratio can be a mole ratio. And here's how it's going to work. I'm going to compare apples to oranges. Take something very simple. So, if I take my apples and I multiply them by the same thing as my oranges, the ratio will still be 3 to 1, right? So, let's do a little conversion. Let's take apples over 1 and 3 oranges over 1, and let's do the same thing to both sides. So, I propose that we multiply apples over 1 by, let's see, we're going to have apples again up here somewhere, and we're going to have 10 to the 23rd, uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd up here somewhere. So, the individual particles are the 6.02, and we're also going to have moles. We're going to have red moles because apples are red. So, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is actually equal to 1 mole, is it not? So let's take the left side of the fraction, or the right side of the fraction, and put it where it belongs. So we got to have particles down here. And we're going to have on the top 1 mole. And let's get rid of this guy. And now you can see I've multiplied the left side by one mole of apples over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd apples. Now, I'm going to multiply the other side by the same thing. Okay, we're going to have oranges over here, so when we multiply here, Okay, we're going to have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd oranges on the bottom. And on the top, let's make this a little bigger, we're going to have three moles. Actually, we're going to have one mole. Sorry. One mole of oranges. Because that's how many oranges there are if we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd oranges. Now, let's go ahead and let's do the crisscross, or the crossouts. The apples on the bottom over here are going to cross out the apples here, and the oranges here are going to cross out the oranges down here. And now, what are we going to have left? We are going to have one mole of apples over, oops, over here. We're going to have the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd Avogadro number. And that's my left side of a new ratio. So we've crossed out our oranges and everything, so all we can bring down to the next line is one mole of oranges over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, because we had three there, I should have put this guy up here because the three times the one, this three times this one, is going to be equal to three oranges on the top of our fraction. Now that we have a new ratio, it's actually the same ratio, I'm going to prove to you it's the same by getting started all over again. And we're going to multiply, remember we can multiply both sides of a ratio by the same thing. So why not multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And that will be on the top of my fraction over here. And on the bottom of my fraction, of course, I have the number 1. Now, over on the other side, I hope you can see where I'm going with this. I have this little guy. And 
Now we're going to take and put the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd number up there. And we're going to put that over 1. Now, as you can see, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd crosses out. It does that on both sides. And what are we left with? On the end of this little ratio, we have one mole of apples is three moles of oranges. And that's the ratio. And as you can see, we started out with a one to three ratio of apple, individual apples to individual oranges. Or to, yeah, individual oranges. And the ratio was one to three. I multiplied by this guy right here for the apples. And I multiplied by this guy right here for the oranges. And that's how I changed both sides of the equation by multiplying by the same thing. Okay? And then we come back over in the next line and we can see that our one mole of apples has now come from here. And we have one mole here and the three moles of oranges after everything was crossed out came down here. And now we see that one mole of apples is equal to three moles of oranges. And we could also write that just like this. One apple. One apple. That up there is, whoops, didn't want to do that. Here we go. I'm going to get my little cloner there going. And that's going to be equal to three oranges. So the individual oranges or the moles of oranges, it does not matter. And now you can see why mole ratios and particle ratios are the same. Glory be. I hope you like this.